Good evening and welcome to this special Good Friday worship service. I'm Pastor Jane McCready, the pastor at Faith Lutheran Church here in New Providence. My thanks for joining us tonight and thanks also to my colleagues for being here with us, to Shea Beloso, our Minister of Music, and to my pastoral associates, my colleagues, Pastor Bob Presa and Pastor Marcus Vaga. Thanks as well to Andrew Shin on cello and to Jody Beloso soprano who will be with us tonight. Tonight is a special, special night in the life of the church. Tonight's liturgy is called the Nails of the Cross, and we are using that liturgy tonight and hope that you have a copy to follow along. It's a series of scripture and meditation and prayer, and hope that you have that as well and that you will follow along and uh, be part of that liturgy with us. A reminder that our Easter liturgies on Sunday are at 7 o'clock in the garden, and at 10 we have our Easter celebration, and all of our liturgies for the next several weeks will be online only, and glad that you will join us for those as well. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The prophet writes, See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be exalted and lifted up and shall be very high. Just as there were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance beyond human semblance and his form beyond that of mortals. So he shall startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him. For that which had not been told them, they shall see. And that which they had not heard, they shall contemplate. Let us pray together our prayer of approach. O merciful God, you did not spare your only Son, but offered him up for us all, that he might hear our sins upon the cross. Grant that we might so examine ourselves that we realize our own sinfulness, so great as to spiritually crucify him anew. Help us to recognize those nails which we drive into his cross today and transform us into more faithful disciples in his name. Amen. The Nail of Pride. A reading from Mark's Gospel. As he taught, he said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for the sake of appearance say long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. O oh God, help us consider our own pride and where it leads. O oh God, do not let us deceive ourselves. Our pride hurts us and creates walls between us and others. O oh God, we know too that our pride hurts you. from 
Matthew, the 26th chapter, beginning at the 47th verse. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived with him, and with a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given him a sign, saying, The one that I shall kiss is the man. Arrest him. And once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus, arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you not think that I cannot appeal to my Father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled which says it must happen in this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. O oh God, consider how we betray others and how we abandon them in time of need. How we think of ourselves first. O oh God, do not let us deceive ourselves. Our acts of betrayal hurt us and create walls between us and others. O oh God, we know too that our betrayal hurts you. Mine to grant, 
but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you, you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. O oh God, help us consider how we envy others, how we desire more than we receive, and seek to influence and rule over others. O oh God, do not let us deceive ourselves. Our envy hurts us and creates walls between us and others. O oh God, we know too that our envy hurts you.
A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 27th chapter, beginning at the 27th verse. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. O oh God, help us consider how we are cruel to others, how we malign and slander others, and add to the evil that comes upon them. O oh God, do not let us deceive ourselves. Our cruelty hurts us and creates walls between us and others. O oh God, we know too that our cruelty hurts you.
Oh God, help us consider how we show hate to others, how we fail to care for others, and make distinctions among them. Oh God, do not let us deceive ourselves. Our hatred hurts us and creates walls between us and others. Oh God, we know too that our hatred hurts you.
the promise of mercy. The prophet writes, he was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearer is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice, he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. They made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring and shall prolong his days. Through him the will of the Lord shall prosper. Out of his anguish he shall see light. He shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one, God's servant, shall make many righteous, and he shall bear his iniquities. Therefore I will allot him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out himself to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressor. Lord God, you have given us everything. You have not held anything back, not even your only begotten Son. With humble hearts, we thank you. In new hope, we offer to you and for the work of salvation our every gift and our very selves. Be pleased, O God, in the name of Jesus, to accept all that we offer at this time. Look upon the intentions of our hearts. Hear our prayers and in your love answer. Hear us now as we confess to you in our silence. We ask all these things through him who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. 